السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ثم أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters As we all know This world comes with difficulties and it comes with hardship And it comes with trials and it comes with tests And as human beings we love to have people around us That can help us in these times of hardship be it your mother, your father, a sibling, a friend, a sheikh, whoever it is, we love to have someone that can offer us a helping hand, someone who can guide us, who can advise us, who can help us at these times. However, the reality of the matter is, there is a limit in how humans can help each other. And the only one that can ultimately help us in all situations is Allah Azza wa Jal. And therefore, it is upon the believer, the slave of Allah Azza wa Jal, to rely on Allah Azza wa Jal. To have tawakkul in Allah Azza wa Jal. We must know, my dear respected brothers and sisters, that it is from the attributes of true Iman that a person relies in Allah Azza wa Jal. It is from the attributes of a person being a true believer that they have reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jal, he says in the Quran, وَعَلَى اللَّهِ فَتَوَكَّلُوا إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ And in Allah Azza wa Jal have reliance. Rely in Allah Azza wa, Jal, Azza wa Jal if you indeed are true believers. And what does it mean for a person to truly rely in Allah Azza wa Jal? Does it mean that they sit back and they wait for everything to come to them? No. Having reliance and tawakkul in Allah Azza wa Jal means you go out. And you put the effort in to gain whatever you want to gain from goodness. And then you rely in Allah Azza wa Jal for the result. As has come in the famous hadith that many people have memorized and many people quote, where the man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he asked him regarding his camel, should I tie it and then have reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal or should I leave it untied and have reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, Tie your camel and then have reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal. Tie it first and then rely in Allah Azza wa Jal when it comes to the result. Rely in Allah Azza wa Jal that Allah Azza wa Jal is going to keep it safe. This is the same when it comes to our affairs. A person wants a job, they need to go out and work and apply and work hard to get this job. They want a good spouse, they need to go through the effort to find a good spouse. Whatever a person wants from goodness, they have to go out and exhaust their efforts to gain it and then rely in Allah Azza wa Jal. And when they are relying in Allah Azza wa Jal, they need to know that Allah Azza wa Jal is sufficient. Allah Azza wa Jal is sufficient in when it comes to relying in Him and Him alone. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says in the Quran, وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُ Whoever has tawakkul in Allah Azza wa Jal, if you rely in Allah Azza wa Jal, then Allah Azza wa Jal is sufficient for you, for you. If you go and you rely in other than Allah Azza wa Jal, you are going to find faults and you are going to find shortcomings. But if you rely in Allah Azza wa Jal, you are going to find that He is sufficient for you. Why? Because if Allah Azza wa Jal blesses you with that in which you want, if Allah Azza wa Jal blesses you with that in which you want in this dunya, then you are going to say, Alhamdulillah, your reliance in Allah Azza wa Jal, and you got what you wanted, and this is something that we thank Allah Azza wa Jal for. But if you are not given that in which you want, again you say, Alhamdulillah, you thank Allah Azza wa Jal, because you know He is sufficient. You know He is the most wise. He knows what is best for you, and He could be saving these things for you for a better time. So it is upon us to rely in Allah Azza wa Jal. Put the effort in and then rely in Allah Azza wa Jal. So we ask Allah Azza wa Jal that He makes us of those who rely in Him and Him alone when it comes to the ultimate and true reliance that we have in this dunya. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal that He makes us of those who have true Iman and that He makes us of those who are sincere and He makes us of those who benefit in that which we teach and that in which we take. هذا والله أعلم وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وجزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته